Beavis Akata, Bump of Witch, it's your boy Jason the Blogging Rapper. Okay, so uh, Nintendo revealed this brand new console uh, with a trailer that they released just a little while ago. And uh, I've already seen it, so this isn't going to be my first reaction, but my wife hasn't. So I decided to bring her on board to take a look at this, and uh, we're both going to give you our impressions of it. Um, just to kind of bring you up to date, uh, since the technically commercial failure of the GameCube, I thought it was a great system, but... Uh, it supposedly it didn't do too well. Nintendo brought upon brought brought the Nintendo Wii, which was a commercial success. Uh, this was on the heels just before the whole smartphone, smart tablet device movement came about. So the casual market, the casual gamer market, found a lot of entertainment value in the Wii. So then, uh, in the next generation, they brought upon the Wii U, which was an extension of that, but they were kind of going with the whole tablet thing. The problem was is that the whole tablet device was tethered to the home console. You couldn't take it with you. Plus, commercially, they didn't promote it correctly. Everyone thought it was a, you know, it was supposed to be used with the original Wii, not its own console. So, market-wise, it just did not work. It was a commercial failure, unfortunately. Even though it still has some really good games. Now we got the NX, which was the code name, but today it's been revealed to be the Nintendo Switch. So, without any further ado. Let's go ahead and take a look at the trailer. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I want to see. All right. And like I said, I've already seen it. I'm excited. I'm sure she'll be excited. She's a long-time Nintendo fan like myself. So let's take a look. We're here on the official YouTube page for them. So let's make, put this full page, full screen. And... Whoa, it's close to me. Okay, where are we? <coughs> Here we go. Oh, 
Yes, she had been. Okay, so first impressions, and then we're going to go through the trailer again and just kind of chop a few points. Uh, what did you think? It's different. I think they, even the intro is really cool. I think it's like, it's, it's so different from anything so far. And that's what they needed. They needed something different to yeah. catch, I mean, catch up with PlayStation and Xbox. Yeah, so the whole tablet, and then you hook it up to a console and play from there. You like yeah, that? Yeah, I think that the Wii U was terrible idea for me person i mean this is my opinion i think yeah. it was awful I'm, it wasn't appealing i like mm. nintendo a lot it's my favorite of the game systems generally um but the, the wii u was just i never really wanted a wii u and that's crazy because when the wii came out i wanted that yeah so we got the wii every game system you wanted yeah so. and the wii u just, just not a... when they first revealed it and i first saw it i was like eh. oh, you want to see? um but the Switch made me want it. So yeah. it's, it's such a cool device. And what I like is that they tailored this trailer to an older audience. You, you saw there was no kids. Yeah. Nintendo's been notoriously Family known as a kid. No, not yeah. even that. Yeah, kitty. It's very kitty. It's like the Disney version of video games. So mm-hmm. now, this trailer, they show nothing but young yeah. adults. But it still looks family friendly. Oh, yeah. And that's a good thing, because I like having... I mean, Splatoon, Mario, all that was in there. Because, like, PlayStation and Xbox, they don't really have that Immature. many family yeah. games. I mean, they might have some, but you have to, like, search for them. And they're not really... The ones that I've played are not that exciting for yeah. me, and I don't really care like for that. Like the Hasbro family fun stuff. Yeah, I mean, I like some of that, but it's... I mean, it's okay, but the, I like that the, the Wii is, uh, can take with you, like, our, you know, like, instead of a tablet or whatever, having separate things, it's yeah. kind of nice to have it connected to your game system, so you don't have to have a separate handheld gaming and a separate um, console. I think my son likes it, too. So what is your favorite thing about it, just from the first look? Um, One feature or something. Just... My favorite I don't know. It's interesting. It, tr- it intrigues me. It's so different. That's that's what intrigues me. You know me about what's it. cool? Um, you probably don't know this, but they leaked um, images, like drawings of the NX or the Switch months ago. So we knew that it was kind of like this tablet with the detachable controllers. But on paper, it looked stupid. A lot of people that thought, talked about it, they're like, oh, I don't know about that doesn't look like it's going to be a success or anything. A lot of people thought it was stupid. But when you see it in the video, it actually looks appealing. It looks like something that uh, would work. So big props to Nintendo. Let's take yeah. a look at this again and just kind of... Do you have the specs for it? Like um, how big... I mean, how much memory does it have on it? Like how much can you save that's on, on their That's on their website, it's, I think. We house. haven't looked on their website yet. We'll take a look at that too, but... That would be my one, one concern since it looks kind of like a smaller system. I'm wondering if it has... Oh yeah, like how like many gigabytes? Any, it like doesn't have a, It doesn't have a DVD player, or Blu-ray player, does it? Have they no, it? no. It looks like okay. It's still just a game so system. this is the game. This is the console itself. So obviously, it's it's following a modular design where you can trade out some stuff here. It looks like from here on the side we have two ports. I don't really know what those are yet. Charging? No. They don't look like USB. They're too big to be USB ports. Is it HDMI? I don't know. No, well, there would be somewhere or, uh, in the back. Um, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, design, it definitely looks different. Um, I wonder if it's going to come in different colors. Because gray, I don't know if that's something I'd like. But it's definitely new. Really good in white. Yeah, probably. Uh, I like it. Is I it think gray? Or is it, it black? It looks gray, but probably black. But it looks interesting. Um, I don't know. Let's keep going. Okay, so controller. Yeah, I'm wanting to see that. That's the actual controller that everyone uses, or is there separate controllers? Because I thought in the video. Well, there is a proprietary controller that's kind of like a traditional one. 
And then this is the one that's kind of the defaults. So this is the one the that, main. yeah, so it's got that little thing in the middle with the two lights. So I guess it indicates that these par parts are connected. Um, so this is what you would get automatically out of the box. I think the other one you have to buy separately. Um, but this one allows you to, it's got the shoulder buttons, as you can see his fingers up on the top here. It's got a control, a thumbstick here, and then something below it, some buttons, and then a reverse thing here so he can remove it slide it on the tablet part and just take it and go now my concern here we talked about it a minute ago was um, with this handheld that you could take anywhere what's gonna happen to the Nintendo 3DS because that's leading the way for their um, mobile their mobile game system and then I wonder about the PlayStation Vita, because that's kind of the widescreen uh, handheld. So I don't know, but I like it. I'm just worried that I think my son's worried too that the 3DS is pretty much out the door if that's the case. Okay, I don't know what game. Oh, that's uh, Zelda, I believe. It is. Yeah. So right here you saw that uh, Nintendo NX or not NX Switch. <laughs> it's a console. It's a it's a cartridge based system. So no DVDs. No. Oh, the whole discs. thing. Oh, yeah. that's weird. Because that's the that's the heart of the console. That that home thing. That's just you plug it in. It's just you know a dock basically. It's a dock. So you put you insert that tablet into the dock, and then it's a home console. Everything else comes from that. So that means that there's no CDs in this thing. No DVDs. So that means basically it's not a Blu-ray player like, you know, Xbox and PlayStation. It's not going to have any CD capabilities. I still wish they would do that. They've never done it. The Wii They're U, staying stubborn to that. Yeah. The Wii U doesn't play DVDs. The Wii never did. GameCube obviously didn't. So, I know. I think that stinks, but you know, whatever. Uh... Basically, it's been, for Nintendo, it's been more profitable to do cartridges, so I guess they... But the cartridges, I guess you can fit a lot more in a, in a small amount of space. Maybe they can have some, like, like well, uh, cases that you can fit them all in. Especially if they're that in small. In DVD-sized cases, that would be nice. I don't know if that's... Well, the, play, the, that original, the original PlayStation Portable had a little disc-based thing, but this, I think, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean... It's, it's good if they have a mobile thing like this not to have CDs in it but because uh, of all the moving parts and you're traveling and whatnot. But skipping and all that? Yeah. Or not skipping. And it cuts down on loading time too when you have cartridges. So. I guess it has ad hoc capabilities so you can challenge each other over Wi Fi. And I like the stand. So this kind of shows you that no matter where you are you can find different ways to play so you know if like on an airplane that's pretty cool although those little controller things are too small but, you know, they did that with the Wii so why not oh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah the Wii modes could be smaller more handheld for the pack version yes. of it you yeah so, so that's the regular the, controller the, yeah, the one I think that's going to be sold separately. I would hope they sell one with it, too. Oh, maybe they would. I don't know. They didn't say. See, it says all adults. Got this little thing here. <laughs> See, so what they're playing on is kind of like the original Wii with the motion controllers. Has nothing to do with Nintendo, but... And I like that. So when you start, you, you get tired of playing basketball and being active, and you know, pretty much, just go sit down and play a video game pretty wherever much. you are. But it, I've, there's never been a console that does this, where you can have two, and then yeah, have four neat. people playing and enjoy them. You know, it's the exact same game but two different screens. I think that is pretty cool. Yeah. So 
apparently it didn't have sports games. And I guess it looks like it's bigger than most phones, like the screen. Yeah. So here's another view of the controller. I don't see it being good for parties like they're acting like it's good for big groups of people and stuff like that. I don't see that happening, but... Well, here there's uh, four, it looks like four LED indicators. So I'm guessing this is kind of like tell you which player is player one, two, three, or four maybe? Or maybe it's a charge meter. Oh, maybe. It's either that or a charge meter. I don't know. I'm I wonder what that. this is. I wonder if that's a camera. Power button? Home button? Maybe a button? A star? Can't be a the image on there. Yeah, well, we got a plus symbol here. I'm guessing there's a minus one here. Yeah. I don't know. And I want to see what Mary Jane this is. So it looks good. It. <laughs> Come on, let's play the turtle! Okay. Uh, so you see here these characters, but you don't know if you know what they are, but it's kind of like our Disney Infinity Amiibo. characters. Amiibo. Yeah, so this here verifies that they're not done with Amiibo. <laughs> they're going to continue on. And it makes sense because you know how with Amiibo you have to place it on something in order to activate the features of it. Uh, with the tablet device, I guess you could place it on there and it reads it. Or even with the controller, uh, the controller that she had. Um, so I guess maybe here it might there might be some kind of reader for the amiibo. So even if you have your tablet placed on the charger or the dock. Are you just guessing? Yeah, I'm just oh. I'm just guessing. But I'm get you know like with the with this here maybe you can place it on there and still use the amiibo. <laughs> I like the sound effect. It makes. I hope it makes that sound effect in real life. We're making a game plan. Alright, how am I going to beat you? I'm going to use this uh, tournament. The team tournament. So that's the other controller. Is that team in the other? Yeah, pretty much. So, um, final thought on that. Did you have any final thoughts? It's different, and I'm intrigued, and I would want one. I'm wondering the price point of this one. Yeah. Actually, let's go ahead and take a look at that now, as we're well, I'm sure one. Nintendo has the information happy. listed now. Yeah, Nintendo Switch. You can see right there the name on the tab. Um... So one thing I noticed, some of the games that they showed were Splatoon and I think um, the new Zelda game coming up. Mario. And Mario. But I mean, like, Splatoon was from the Wii U. So I'm wondering if they're going to make ports of the Wii U games for the Switch and how they're going to do it. Because if you own the games for a Wii U, it cannot be backwards compatible because the Switch doesn't use CDs. So is there going to be some kind of redemption like on the digital side can you digitally download them um or are you gonna have to buy them again so i don't know maybe they can offer coupon codes or something <laughs> i don't know i mean most games like xbox and playstation they have their own way of doing backwards compatibility <sighs> of course it's not loading unless it's a usb connecting thing i don't know it's gonna be weird stuff never mind don't listen to me Okay, so it's taking a sweet time to load the, uh... Probably overloaded. Or probably tons of people trying to look at it. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, uh, let's see what some of the comments here. Am I the only one who thought the shocking thing about this video is that Skyrim is on Nintendo console? I don't see no Skyrim. Thank you so much, Nintendo. I'm actually crying with joy. Who wants a new Animal Crossing for this console? <laughs> So is this an add-on to the Wii? No. <laughs> uh, perfect for the type of loser who can't live 
for a few moments without playing a video game. Yeah, okay. Alright, so it looks like the uh, homepage is not really loading. So oh, we're just no. going to leave it here at 20 minutes on this video. But um, suffice to say, I think that this is going to be a big win for Nintendo. And I'm, I'm surprised because I didn't have much hope for the, the NX. I was excited, but based on the... Bless the, you. Based on the drawings Bless that they you. had leaked, um, I didn't see too much hope for it. But the Switch is a great concept. It doesn't really compete with the Xbox One or the PlayStation 4. It's kind of its own thing, which is what Nintendo has always been. They've always marched to be their own drum. So I think it's awesome. I think it's going to be a commercial success. And uh, we're going to see when it releases in March what the consensus is, what people have to say. So uh, I don't know, guys. Are you going to be among the first early adopters for the uh, Nintendo Switch? Are you going to purchase it? And if so, what are you most excited about with the NX? Let us know in the comment section below. And um, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and give me a thumbs up. That helps out the channel for, uh, a lot. So I'll see you in the next one. And thanks for joining me today. Yay. Both of you. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Anyways, Jason the blogging rapper, much love, God bless, and as always, peace.